Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Woodland Workshop, which is what you see behind me. Today, I'm not really going to be getting anything done, physically anyway. Um, I've hit a point where I have now got to design some more stuff. We'll talk about that, but uh, first, I kind of want to walk around and show you what we've got so far. So here we go. Starting at the top, of course, we have the tarp itself. We have my overhead storage. We have what ended up being more of an A-frame style structure to it, which is all right. I'm going to live with it. I had wanted that to bow a little bit more and have some some other ideas I may use on future structures. Maybe not. I might just go with an A-frame style on a couple other things I have. But, oh yeah, moving down, here we go. We have, uh, pardon me while I try to walk in cameraman here. Um, we have the platform. We have just generic blue tarp underneath. So what I have left to do is obviously I have this whole end to enclose. I have to trim this because right now you can see I've got it tucked back behind behind here and then behind over there on, with the upright pillars. I actually think I'm going to, in fact this is why I left that um, that center pole long. I do want to have this style of overhang. Let's see if I can back up a little bit and you can see that. I like that. Kind of keeps the rain off of what's going to be the door. Um, but I do need to figure out how I'm going to attach the, the tarp to either the ground or the base of the platform. Either one will work. And I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. If I had more material, because you can see this just barely reaches the ground on this side. And let's move over here if I can not trip on all these pallet wood blocks. Um, it's not even touching the ground on this side. So if it were touching the ground and it had plenty of excess, I could just throw sandbags on top of that and call it a day. And I had initially thought about doing that, but that's not going to work. Or, well, or I could build up sandbags. So if you put a row of sandbags down this way and then put more sandbags on top of that, that would probably work. It's a lot of sandbags and I don't know I want to do that. Um, if you buy one of these, you know, uh, uh, well, Shelter Logic is one company. There's a few others, I'm sure. Um, if you buy one, they have screws that go into the ground, and then you you anchor off of that. That's another option. Of course, I could just uh, put something, uh, you know, screws, ratchet straps underneath, kind of like I have uh, I have that that rope there holding this together. I could potentially do a a ratchet strap underneath, and then pull that that overhead piece tight or pull the tarp tight um i don't know right now it's just being held on with its own weight which is well with a tarp this thick not insignificant but probably not good enough and the other thing of course i already mentioned i need i need ends i need end caps i need something right here move this card out of the way I need something here to close this off because if you can see well actually you can't see too much out here um, well anyway it's autumn it's about to get cold and another thing that I need to come up with is some way to heat the inside of this so what I was thinking before was I was going to put a wood stove right over there. I actually have one sitting out in the woods just collecting rust. And that end cap, of course, has to somehow accommodate a, uh, not a chimney, but at least a, a stove pipe if we're going to heat with wood. Uh, another alternative would be to heat with something like propane or um, what's the little propane butane, um, the, the Coleman gas canisters. Those are expensive though. I don't really want to do that. 
and you can refill those off of a propane tank. They make little adapters. They make an adapter to go to a propane tank. Um, that's that's got problems. Another consideration that I need to have here is that somewhere up here I need to have a vent toward the top because I need to vent hot air out. Well, in the summer, also in the winter though, and. If you look, this, this plastic, it's not a plastic, it's a rubber, but this rubber tarp is going to form a very effective moisture barrier. The problem is that works both ways, so I can easily collect moisture, in, a lot of moisture in here, just by me being in here breathing. So up there and then up there, I need some kind of ventilation. So a lot of a lot of stuff I have to think about. Um, I do want some kind of natural light, so I've, I've given consideration to taking this upper part. You see where the the horizontal beams are. This this whole upper part and making that some kind of clear, probably a plastic. I don't really care that I can see through it. I just want to get light through it, so that I don't have to completely rely on. Um, artificial light in here, whether that is uh, some kind of electric lighting or something burning. Uh, I would rather not rely on that for all my lighting. Um, the good news is, once I once I peeled those back, I actually do have fairly good natural lighting in here. So in the summertime, I can I can leave whatever door I put there completely open. So we're gonna see we're gonna see what all I come up with for that. I'm just gonna kind of hang out here and think about this a little while. Um, oh, while I'm here, let's see if I get that on the camera. There it is. There's that daisy chain rope I was telling you about. Nice and neatly stored. Um, but that's that's about it. That's my my update for now. And today I'm just gonna be kind of hanging out here and messing around in my mind trying to figure out what I'm going to do for these end caps and what I'm going to do for a, a way to attach this tarp to either the ground or the platform itself. Alright? And with that, I'm going to go sign off, get out there, do cool stuff, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other. Alright? Catch you next time.